If you guys are playing Man 21 Ultimate Team and you do need coins for that new card coming out, head over to Red Zone Coins. They are super reliable. Use code RISCO at checkout for 20% off. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Drisco coming at you guys with another video, fellas. And today we have an insane gameplay. We actually have two games in this video where we face one of the best Madden players ever. Problem, right? We do face him in a yard game. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Now, if you guys have been enjoying the videos, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It'd be highly appreciated. And make sure to turn on that bell notification so you guys never miss a video. All right, fellas. So now we're about to go and hop into the first game. First game in the video. Um, you do see right here the, the guys on our team. We got my guy Mark and my guy Jalen um, because you know they're, they're just demons bro my, my guy Mark he's a, one of the best quarterbacks in the game if not the best and Jalen my guy is a demon with the fast cast stuff like that and y'all do see um we I do go I, I do go Zeus y'all y'all know I love Zeus you know I think he's the best prototype in the game so I do go Zeus my guy Jalen is a fast cat and Mark he is uh the, the Lamar scrambling QB so those are our prototypes um and the abilities I do have acrobat and deep out um so that's what we are rocking you see right here we are picking our cpus and stuff like that um so like i said we do play problem right this guy well he, he was um you know he he he's known in the mac community everybody knows prob um he was streaming you know y'all and stuff like that trying to prepare and stuff for his um yard inv invitational tournament so he was trying to prepare um so you know we was like all right let's bet let's let's go ahead and match up um and, and how we did this was um we wasn't playing like normal y'all it wasn't normal it wasn't um you know where you know you could pass back you know you could do all this type of trickery and stuff like that basically he just wanted to you know try to get his user good i guess try to see who has the best user and we just did you know man up yeah, everybody had to man up basically and you know it was just you know it was basically just 1v1s basically just 1v1s that's how it started out um but you know as the game goes like that's what they wanted to do with us we really didn't care but that's what they really wanted to do so that's what we started with um but uh, as the game went on you know it's kind of changed up just a little bit as the games go on and stuff like that um but that's how the format was we wasn't you know passing back and forth and doing all this type of stuff all right fellas so now we are on the venue brendenburg festival one of the best if not the best looking venue in the game by far um so we were playing player friend right here um and, you know the, when you do player friend there's no like you know 10 point plays and stuff like that it's just you know it's the regular rules like how it is on lambo lambo leap so we are going go against the gamer here first and 20 fellas first and 20 and can we get starting good can we start off good right here my guy mark throws the ball just a split second late mark saw me right there fellas he just waited too long to throw that um because i i kind of like broke down like at an angle and i tried to like come back to the ball i guess i like, kind of like at an angle and mark he just did not trust he just waited too long if he was gonna throw that he had to throw it early he just did not throw it early um so you know that right there it was an interception problem does get his first pick on me um and see right here he, he does try to go across the field and try and he actually i think he got his feet right there um, so now it's second goal for them. So they do start for the interception, boys. They start for the interception. We're like, dang, like, dang, that was just tough. You know, it was just a little bit of miscommunication. And Mark, you know, wait just a split second too long. If he was going to throw that, he had to throw it early. He just had to. Um, so let's see what happens right here. Um, you know, they, they go out, uh, for, um, they, they get the, uh, the timer runs out right there. So like I said, we wasn't really rushing nobody. We were just, you know, using the timer, using the four seconds and just trying to see if they could, uh, you know, do something with it. And right here, he does get the touchdown on oh my God, Jalen right there. Honestly, I have no idea how my guy Jalen is the anime right there, but you know he, he hey he got good position on him. My guy Jalen he just wasn't able to get his hands out there and actually reach for the ball. So they do get their first point. I mean their first touchdown on the board right here. So now it's seven to zero. Let's see what they do right here on the conversion and right here. And I don't know how this is not a freaking interception right there. Literally, I played perfect defense on prob, but the ball literally just goes through my hands. And he does get the conversion right there. Three-point conversion, boys. So now it's first and 20 right here. And let's see if we can go deep. We are going deep for six, boys. And we do hit it all the way. Let's go, man. So right there, I kind of knew that problem. Was like, he was kind of like playing like shallow. I guess he was trying to, you know, read if I, like, if I do like a 10 yard out or something like that. So right there, we just go deep. And we saw that the safety, he just, he stayed in the middle of the field. So we just ran right over top of him. And we do go for six right there, fellas. Y'all do not hear, you know, the raw comment. It's not raw commentary Thing, just because you know it wasn't it wasn't really like that good it wasn't really like capping crazy um it was just you know just kind of like friendly it wasn't nothing like crazy capping and stuff like that um you see right here my guy Jalen is getting burnt right there for a huge game for them a huge game um Jalen right there if y'all was looking at him he was trying to press 
I mean, actually, I wanted to just go over this game and show you guys, you know, what actually just happened, what we were thinking this entire time and stuff like that. So let's see what they go to right here. Let's see what they go to. Let's see. Let's see. We do lock up right there. Like I said, we were playing man the entire time, but sometimes we would like quarter them off or we would like pass somebody off right here. Um, so you see right here, let's see what they go to right here. And we do get the huge interception, fellas. Easy, easy, easy interception. And can we return it? No, we cannot. So my goal when guarding Cobb was literally just to give him the inside and, you know, just keep leverage on the back side so just in case you know he cut back you know like how like a playmaker would look in mud or something like that where they cut back the other way i was just trying to keep my leverage so if he does do that i'm in position to easy you know guard him and make sure he's not open um so right there you know on the interception we let him go across the field and the quarterback just threw it a little late we did get the interception and you see right here mark does find me for an easy completion right there easy first downs first to 16 so now um, about 10 yards and about 10 yards in now so let's see what we can go to let's see let's see and can Mark find some? Can Mark find some? We have time. We have time. And he does find me on the other side of the end zone. Now, the reason why Mark had more time than, you know, the usual four seconds is because um, the CPU that would, like, swing under, and this is something that you guys need to know. The CPU that swings under on this play that we were running, um, for some reason, like, the CPU that would be guarding him, he, like, comes down at, like, the last second. Once the timer runs out, he'll come down past the line. We didn't know that when we were actually playing. We actually didn't even know that, but, it, like, it would just randomly happen because it didn't happen every play it would happen you know every other play or something like that um and we really didn't know like what was the cause but when but um as i'm looking back at it, that was the reason why mark would get more time than he should and it happened for them sometimes too sometimes they would have more time um you see right here they do get a completion down the prop um and like i said i was just giving him the inside if he was if he wanted to run across the field and you know catch the pass like that i was gonna let him do it because either one he was gonna make a mistake where you know earlier we got the interception or two you know we were just gonna make the tackle so that's what i was doing for the most part um let's see what they go to right here let's see let's see and right there he was that was actually a really risky throw my guy mark actually read at that time he tried to read the inside and if mark was just a little bit faster right there that was an interception all right fellas so now let's see what they go to first and 19 this is their last drive let's see what they go to and no way they give me the terrible press animation right there fellas for the game let me go ahead and show you guys what happened right there so um with this play right here first 19 i want to try to press him because right here i you know I, I like i said i was giving him cushion all game i was giving him cushion um so right here i tried to press him right here and for some reason they just gave me the worst press animation usually when, when you like you absolutely like lined up a line right over the person you, you're you're good they're not going to give you that that bad press animation um, but right here, they gave me the press animation. Like if I was like all the way inside of him, and you know, they just like they basically just opened the gate for you, and they just pushed the the person uh, player off for you. Um, so you see right here, let's see. Like, like I said, right here, they just literally pushed off. Literally, literally, my guy just like pushed him off for some reason. And look, I feel like I timed it perfectly, but I'm pretty sure the reason why this happens is probably because if I didn't time it perfectly, they'll like push him off, and it gives him like a, a good press, like a good. Uh, basically just a good release it gives him a good release the way he just passes me and right there he does get the easy touchdown um so that was the first game they do they, they do go ahead and win it so, so now everybody going to hop into the second game fellas second game by going to hop into um i would I, I wish we played more games against prob um but you know we only got two games in, so this is the second game for us and this game is absolutely insane this is an insane game um and like i said for the most part we're pretty much rocking the same stuff you know we have a fast cab we have the lamar uh scrambling qb and i am using zeus again um i think prob was using zeus also so um i told him you know zeus is the best prototype so he used it too um so yeah those were the prototypes we were using um, so let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, fellas. So now, like I said, we're getting into game two right here. We're still on Brandenburg, Best Brandenburg Festival. Like I said, this is game two. Um, so let's see what go ahead and happens. Um, like I said, this game is absolutely insane. Um, and, and, and like I said, when I and I feel like when I face somebody, um, because you know, we, we weren't playing, you know, normal, normal yard. If we were playing normal yard, I feel like we would definitely been better because you know, we 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 practice, you know, normal yard better. Um, but um, I, you know, usually when I face somebody, I usually get better over time. So this second game, we were definitely locked in, we were definitely. You know, trying to you know get good right here and right here, Mark just throw another interception right here for the first drive. Literally just absolutely hurts. The same thing happened last game, but right there, Mark he he was saying you know he probably should have lobbed it, and honestly he probably could have lobbed it, but still he probably shouldn't even have made that throw. But you know, regardless, we gonna fight back, fellas. We're gonna fight back just like how we did last game, fellas. It is rare for us to start off bad on offense, um, like we have these past two games. But literally, it was just bad communication and Mark just being a little bit like just a little bit off. Um, like I said, in that first game, you know, I was open, and then, you know, he just threw the split second late, and then that first, and then the, the second game, um, you know, he's just trying to force it, and then just getting a bad pass, really, um, so, you know, and, and 
it, it's, it's kind of rare for us to do that. So, you know, we really have to bounce back and just lock in, in these games. Um, like I said, you know, we, we want to win. We want to win no matter what. So, you know, we, we got to lock in. Um, so, we, we do get the flag right there. I don't know how. The refs are absolutely cheating me. Um, let's see what they go to right here. First and goal. We see we put a hands on prop. And let's see what they go to. And my guy, Jalen, did not follow him across. Um, that was kind of my fault. But, I mean, at the same time, Jalen, he didn't tell me. Jalen didn't tell me, you know, he was trying to pass off or anything. So, I was just putting hands on prop the entire way. And it was just a guy coming behind me. Um, and it's first and 20, boys. First and 20. What could we find right here? And my guy. Mark does find Jalen for the easy completion for about eight yards. About eight yards. Um, we had to, you know, we had to hurry and get the ball out because the timer was about to run down. Um, but yeah, that was a really good completion right there. Second and 12. Let's see what we go to right here. Can we find the dot? Can we find the dot? My guy Mark finds Jalen for the easy completion. Can Jalen get out of there? Yes, he can. And honestly, that's one of the best things about the yard. If, if the best thing, because they just get out of there. And you know, because Prob was a Zeus, he was not able to catch him. Um, so, so Jalen just got separation, was able just to run for six right there and for the for the most part we wasn't trying to go deep every play you know we wasn't trying to do that um you see right here we do get an absolute laser beam right there they tried to you know play deep my guy Jalen goes up at the last second we get the absolute laser so we do get the three points um on top of the touchdown which puts us at 10 points like i said for the most part we wasn't trying to go deep every play we we're just trying to you know hit him under underneath for the most part um you know and just try you know get get good yards from racks um because you know we're really good at rack you uh, know rack catching you know actually getting a bunch of yards after the catch all right fellas so now it is second and 10 fellas let's see what they do right here let's see let's see let's see and we do get the insane interception on oh my guy problem man like i said we were doing that the whole time on him like i said we were giving him cushion real if he wanted to run you know an in route or a slant or whatever he went to the inside we we're going to let him do it because like i said we just had good leverage and right there we literally just cut underneath it at the last second because the timer was the timer ran out the qb threw it way too late so you know we we made sure we made him pay for that and we do get the crazy intercepts right there um and right here we're back on offense we do um get the you know the timer runs out right there so now it's second and six and saying that that interception really changed the game honestly because it gave us life back you know and that that, that stop was just that was key that we really need that stop right there um let's see what they go to right here let's see let's see and we do get the absolute laser beam uh aggressive catch animation you know if you don't know the aggressive catch right there you may you need to make sure to know that because um probably you know he was underneath and all that stuff but um because he was underneath and we aggressive catch that with the zeus we're more than likely going to get that catch so that's why we did aggressive catch right there so now we are back on defense this is their last drive fellas this is their last drive we need to lock up and get these boys off the field. Make sure we win this uh, this second game right here. Um, let's see what they go to right here. They do they try to go underneath, and their guy absolutely drops the ball. Hey, I'm not going to lie. You know, that happens sometimes when you face some goats like us. You know, your, your players are going to drop the ball sometimes. I'm not going to lie. Um, so right there, they did get the drop. Um, now it's second and 20, boys. Second and 20. Let's see what they go to right here. Like I said, we got to get them off the field. Um, let's see. Let's see what they do. Let's see. Let's see. And he tries to go deep to prob again, but we are all over that. He's absolutely smothered, boys. We fought him all the way up the field. That was just not open. Um, now, if I wasn't there, you know, he probably would have got his feet in, but like I said, we made sure to follow him because let's see what they go to right here. And right here, they actually, you know, they, they tried to pass it behind the line, which is something they, they should not have been doing. And we, on top of that, we also get the flag on top of it, fellas. We also get the flag on top of it, which absolutely hurt us. Um, so that gave, that, that, that honestly gave them the first down. And that right there, fellas, just absolutely hurt us because that put them in, um, you know, in, in the red zone base. So that absolutely hurt us because, you know, first, you know, they should not have been passed behind the line. That should have been an interception, honestly. And um, they, like I said, on top of that, they got the flag. And right here, we just absolutely bagging them right here. Um, now, now, um, what they were trying to say sometimes was, you know, sometimes you know we would have more time than we should have because you know our CPU would cross the line. But right here, you see, they don't have nothing open. They have all day in the pocket. They had literally nothing open. We literally just, you know, we we just made sure to switch off if we had to. We made sure to follow somebody if we had to. Make sure nobody was open right there. So that one was an absolute box right there. Now it is second and goal, fellas. Second and goal. We got, we, like I said, we got locked up they got that absolute fluke play a couple plays ago so now we gotta make sure to lock up and win this game finish the game out so let's see what they do right here second to go um see what you see right here i'm following prop following prop i actually followed prop across the field this time i followed him and let's see if they can find anything they cannot find anything open everything is absolutely caged right here um let's see what he goes to let's see let's see and he tries to force it to prop again and it is a interception for the game boys for the game ggs only and we do win the second game here um and we do get player of the game right there so uh, yeah these two games were absolutely insane we had a lot of fun playing prop 
Um, but yeah, it was insane. Alright, guys, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all make sure to follow my guy Prob over there on Twitch, twitch.tv slash problem right. Make sure to follow him on there. Y'all make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And see y'all boys in the next one. Peace.